Two months ago, I led 17 ladies through a 21-day writing challenge. They range from traditionally published novelists with three books under their belts to aspiring authors who never wrote a book before in their lives. Want to know what I learned? It's going to surprise you. I know it surprised me. Hi, I'm Candace Duff, an attorney, an author, and a book coach. Let's go inside. Hey there, this is Candace Duff coming at you all the way live from sunny South Florida. And I'm here to talk to you today about the Book Author Bootcamp 21 Day Challenge, and more specifically, lessons that I learned in leading the challenge back in April of 2019. I learned a lot by leading that challenge. I took 17 ladies through that challenge, and they were writing a variety of different types of books, and they came from a variety of different backgrounds. Some of them were traditionally published and they already had three or more books under their belts. Some of them had never written a book before in their lives. Some of them were writing memoir. Some of them were writing Christian books and devotionals. Some of them were writing regular fiction, so like cozy mysteries, and they came from a variety of different backgrounds. It was really interesting to lead them through the challenge, and I learned a ton by having that experience. I think one of the biggest surprises for me is that the challenge was able to help traditionally published authors. I'm self-published, so I haven't traditionally published yet. I teach in the challenge a lot of fast writing techniques, a lot of what I call guerrilla writing techniques that are designed to get you through the end of your book project. I teach you how to organize your project from the start so that you have success and that you're able to write your books quickly and efficiently and well and a lot of different things during a challenge, even mindset issues. And even the traditionally published authors got a lot out of the challenge by learning those fast writing techniques and guerrilla writing techniques. And some of them didn't even know they had mindset issues that they had to deal with before writing their book project. The challenge also worked for novice authors, people who had never written books before in their lives, because it gave them a structure to go through. It gave them a step-by-step -step structure that they could use to conceive of their book ideas, to research their book ideas, to mind map and brainstorm their books, and to organize their books, and then to write their books. So it gave the novice author the ability to take a book from a book idea all the way to a book draft. And so that was another thing that I learned, that, that the challenge would actually help novice authors and experienced authors alike. And it also helped both types of authors, too, because of the community. I mean, writing is normally a solitary thing, right? There's no one there to give you some tough love if you don't get your, you know, meet a deadline. There's no one there to um, encourage you. There's no one to talk to about your book project normally because most people, you know, don't write books. So they don't know what you're going through. And so people who took the challenge really enjoyed being part of the community and really enjoyed interacting with each other and interacting with me uh, while they wrote their books. And so that was a good thing. Another thing that, that the challenge did for its participants and that this is some of the things that they told me was that it helped them with accountability, right? So they knew I was going live most nights in the challenge. And they knew that I was going to ask them, you know, how many pages have they written or, you know, what fast writing techniques have they tried or what guerrilla writing techniques have they tried and what accountability measures have they put into their book project. And so that was helpful to both traditionally published authors because some of them were writing short stories. Some of them had deadlines they had to meet. Some of them had publishing deadlines they had to meet. So that accountability actually helped them as well as the novice authors as well. So these are things that I learned during the project. I also learned not to overwhelm my challenge participants. In the beginning of the April challenge, I was going live every single night at 8 p.m. And although that was good and it allowed them to ask me questions and it allowed me to interact with them and I enjoyed the lives as much as they did, it got to be a bit much during the challenge. So one of the things I learned is to allow, for example, writing time during the weekend where I didn't go live and not to go live, like there was the Easter holiday, for example, um, during the April challenge. So I didn't go live during the Easter weekend or Good Friday, you know, things of that nature. So I, I probably, in doing the June challenge, won't go as live as often. Maybe I'll make it three times a week instead of like five or six times a week, but definitely to be there enough for you to ask me questions. And I'm always available by, by email as well. So the main lessons I learned 
basically during this challenge, during the leading the April 2019 Book Author Bootcamp 21 Day Challenge, is that the challenge actually helps traditionally published writers. It helps people who are interested in self-publishing their books. It helps people who are writing all different types of genres, whether that's memoir, whether that's cozy mystery, whether that's Christian devotional. It helps all different types of writers at all different stages. And that was a good lesson for me to learn. It also made me realize how much a challenge like this is needed. We don't have a lot of them out there where you're able to get this level of, of encouragement, of inspiration, of support, of community. So that was another thing that I learned. Let me see. So I'm looking at my list here to see what I've left out. So I've learned not to overwhelm my students, that the challenge works for newbie and experienced authors alike, that community and connection is really important to writers and entrepreneurs, right? Because we normally are in this for ourselves. We normally are alone. and We don't get the intellectual stimulation and the encouragement from other like-minded individuals that we may need that it works for traditionally published as well as self-published authors. So what you can expect in the June 2019 Book Author Bootcamp 21 Day Challenge. The challenge is going to be held from June 1st to June 21st. So it starts on Saturday and it ends on June 21st. I'll be going live on June 1st. That'll be the only weekend day that I go live. And then I'm going to be going live probably three times a week during the three weeks of the challenge during the weekdays. And I typically go live at 8 p.m. If that needs to change, I send out an email to that effect. And you receive an email every single day. It's an inspirational email. And it also gives you the homework assignment that you're going to have, you know, which section of the 10-day book bootcamp course I'm going to want you to go through so that we can discuss it, you know, during the lives if, if needed. So you'll be receiving an email every single day of the challenge that's inspirational, that gives you your assignment. You're going to be receiving support from me when I go live in the evenings three times a week, where you can ask me any questions that you may have. You're going to have access to me by email at any time during that 21-day period. So you'll have direct access to me via email. And it's interesting because some of the challenge participants last time actually emailed me every day. They wanted to. I didn't require it. Where they told me how many words they had written the, the day before, and it helped to hold them accountable. And you're going to receive access to my 10-day book bootcamp course, which gives you takes you from your book idea all the way to a first draft in as little as two weeks. And so you'll have access to that as well. The challenge is $97 and you will never have as much access to me for such a small price. And that's why I offer it because I want it to be available to everyone, right? And I'm going to keep the challenge relatively small. It's going to be less than 100 people. Last time it was 17 ladies. I'm going to cap it at 100. So, you know, spots are filling up fast. If you want to sign up, then go ahead and do that. And go ahead and sign up at CandiceDuff.com. That's C-A-N-D-A-C-E-D-U-F-F. Dot com forward slash 21 day challenge candistuff.com forward slash 21 day challenge to sign up all right so i hope to see you in the challenge and if you have any questions and go ahead and please type them in the chat so that i can go ahead and answer them because i want to be here to answer any questions you may have regarding the challenge uh thank you so much take care